What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. I've got another CPU caller today, you're probably getting sick of seeing these, but this one is an AIO, this is from Allzine, this is their M240, so let's get into it. Right, like, like I said at the beginning, this is an uh, Allzine M240 liquid cooler all in one. Uh, thank you for Allzine for sending this out. Um, this can be purchased on Amazon, I believe. I'll put a link, obviously, in the description to, so you can see where to get it from and how much it is and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, this is, like I say, it's 240mm AIO. Um, it's got two ARGB fans on it, and the pump housing is also ARGB as well. Um, so that's nice to see. So what we're going to do is do usual, which is basically unbox this, um, show you everything you get in it. Um, we'll get it installed, and then um, we'll obviously do testing on it. We'll do, do usual tests in a bench. 10 minutes multi core and see how we get on. Right, so as I mentioned in the beginning, um, this is the Allzine M240 liquid cooler. This is from the Max series. I assume they do other series, I'm not sure, but I'll obviously leave, uh, leave links in the description below um, so you can check out the website and where to buy this from and everything like that. Um, straight away, as you can see, we've got RGB style Allzine. It's uh, Asus Aura Sync, so it will work with your Aura Sync. Uh, whether it works with the other ones or not, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'll link you to the website and hopefully that will tell you. Um, um, but it's going to work with Aura Sync. Luckily, I've got an, a, uh, an Asus board, um, so that's nice, and it will work with this. Um, so a quick look around the box, if there's anything to tell you on the box. Um, there's not a lot. It just says that I've got the black version. They also do a white version. Um, I think they do a 360 of this as well, uh, maybe a 120 as well. Again, I'll link you in the description so you can see um, about that. Uh, I, I like to go through the specs on the box so you can see sort of what, what the actual... Uh, specifications are of this um, so uh, yeah again obviously 240 mil AIO uh, standard sort of radius uh, radiator sizes it tells you what the pump height and stuff so it's 44 mil so it's no, not going to be any problem for in terms of clearance for anyone's build really what well, it shouldn't be anyway um, so the specifications itself the water block 70 by 70 by 44 it's uh, copper um, obviously plastic uh, housing uh, got a pump speed of 2600 rpm uh, with a graphite bearing Radiator is 27mm thick, pure aluminium, uh, and then we've got the fan as well, which is a standard 120mm fan, so it's 120 by 120 by 25 uh, and that goes up to 2000 RPM, so they're quite fast these. Um, I have done some Allzai fan review before, um, I'll put that up on the top uh, of the screen for you so you can have a look, um, and from the picture here it looks like they're very similar in terms of blade design. Um, but we'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, we've got airflow up to 77.65 CFM and air pressure up to 2.23 millimeters H2O. Um, so that's actually quite good. Uh, it's quite a high rating. Um, again, obviously, we'll see what it's like in terms of the testing at the end. And the noise level is up to is 24 to 37 decibels, so not too bad, and it's a hydraulic bearing. Um, sockets covered by this are uh, Intel AGA 1200, 2066, 2011, 1366, 11. 50 and 775 so it doesn't include uh, LGA 1700 for 12th gen Intel whether there'll be a bracket or not you can get from them for that I don't know um, we'll have a look in the box see what it comes with but as it doesn't state it on the box I don't think you're going to get one and obviously anything on terms of AMD up to AM4 so that's good so anyway let's get into the box and have a look what we get right straight away we've got uh, installation guide not a problem, put that to one side, we don't need that just yet. Packages in foam as per usual. Um, first of all, we'll have a look at the fan. I believe this is the fan. No, that's all the fittings. We'll have a look at those in a second. Fans are here. So these are the fans you get with it. Yes, they are very similar to the ones I tested before uh, in terms of the blade design. They've got sort of a... I think what all, all I show on their sort of literature is it's like a crab sort of claw leg thing. Um this sort of design on the end of the wing here. Um, again, that's, I assume it's supposed to improve airflow, but we'll see what it's like um, in terms of the testing at the end. Um, yeah, in terms of the fans, look de decent quality. There's quite, quite a bit of hub, hub wobble on those there, so they're not, not the most expensive look fans. Um, we'll RGB lit from the inside, I believe. It looks like there's some sort of RGB on the outside, whether that's just... I think that's just... Um, translucent so you can, it, the light shines through the sides as well um, and there's no lighting on the back as such but obviously the blades are the bits that light up on this so you will see it from from the back so we've seen we've seen the fan point looking at the other one 
Um, yeah, this is sorry an accessory pack, and this indicates that there is actually a 360 and a 120 available, so that's nice to know. Um, take the other fan out, we don't need to look at that. Uh, let's have a look at the thing itself. So you've got a copper cold plate on the bottom here, nice big cold plate, um, looks quite good actually. Um, and then we'll remove the actual radiator, standard radiator, 27mm thick, that's pretty much standard on most AIOs these days. And you've got this pump cover here, I don't know if you can see it, just sort of flip it round. This is the pump cover there, with also our logo on it, and obviously that all glows up RGB, um, so that's nice to see. Not really much more to show about that. Uh, the hoses are sort of like braided, which looks quite nice. Um, so that's a nice little finish. Uh, and you've got your connections and stuff that come off that. So you've got a actually that's pump uh, pump speed there, and then I assume that's going to be RGB. And um, we'll have a look at the accessories in a second. Put that to one side. These are your cables here. Let's have a look at the cables. So you get a controller built in, which is comes from that pump there. Uh, unfortunately, it's Molex powered, which I don't like. Um, and then you've got so that's that's sorry that's for the controller Molex powered. So if you want to use this controller, it's Molex powered through that, and it's got little uh, buttons on there. However, it looks like of this cable here, you can actually just use it on a standard ARGB, which. I like to see so um, I was a bit worried when I saw the Molex cable but I think you can get away with it and not have to use that um, as long as you've got motherboard control which I have so I'll be using that um, through Aura Sync. Put that box out of the way and let's have a look at the accessories it's going to be pretty much a uh, standard sort of uh, affair I would have thought um, there's never much much to talk about in these really um, yeah it's just a load of fittings uh, you get some thermal paste there that's old size ohm I assume I won't be using that again I use Arctic MX4 for all my testing, so it's uh, fair across the board. Um, back plate, nuts, screws, things like that in there. Washers. I think that's all Intel stuff in there, I think. And there's a there's a PWM splitter as well for the fans, so that's good. So you can put them all into one header. That's nice to see. That's one thing I didn't mention, I don't think, is the cables on the, on the fans. Let's just have another look at those. So yeah, they're uh, PWM and they've got this uh, sort of connection on there, which you get the cable for in there to connect to your normal ARGB. And another look in here, we've got this sort of back plate here. This is for AMD, it says here, um, and also Intel. So you've got, depending on which way around you have it, depends on what, what you need it for. So it comes with a back plate. Um, whether you can use the one that comes with it, uh, the uh, the AMD standard one, I don't know. Uh, and then in here we've got some more AMD brackets and things for like, which I assume you use to connect the actual pump top to the uh, the CPU. Uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, let's get it installed and uh, we'll see how well it performs. Right, so that's the Allzai M240 AIO liquid cooler from Allzai. Um, thanks for, again for Allzai for sending this out for the for for review purposes. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, now, obviously, I've installed it. I didn't show the install video on this one. Um, it's quite a long-winded process, but it is quite easy. It just takes a bit of time. Um, it's it's very similar to installing most AIOs. Um, I'll include a picture of the actual manual so you can see sort of what it entails rather than watching me do it. 
Um, but yeah, anyway. Also, I did a little video showing you how the uh, the lighting looks on everything. The lighting's actually really good on it. I actually quite like it. On the pump block, it looks quite nice. Uh, I mean, whatever colour you set it to, obviously you can put it in rainbow or all the other colours, depending on how, how you control it through your motherboard. Um, yeah, it looks quite nice. Um, not too not too shabby at all. Um, the things I don't like about it, um, the tubes on it are very um, not very flexible, and they sort of like the the sleeving like kinks when you're trying to get it in place. Um, and as far as I've found, um, there's no way of actually switching the pump pump uh, cover over so if you wanted to put it the other way around other tubes coming out the other way because I think I would have needed to do that to make it look a bit neater um, I couldn't figure out how to get it off and I didn't want to break it um, so I don't know um, yes yeah, not not the best in terms of the tubing um, it's quite sort of rigid and uh, doesn't seem to want to go into place very well I've had to kind of really hold it in position as I screwed it into the top of the case um, to keep it there um, another thing in terms of quality now it might just be me being heavy handed, but I did actually manage to snap a piece. Let me just get that piece off the corner of the fan so it can no longer be screwed in, in that corner. Um, I apologize, Ozai, for doing this. Um, but yeah, it snapped quite easily. We don't have like a hole, it's like well, it is a hole, but it's like open one end. Um, and I was trying to tighten it in and it, it kind of snapped off. So, uh, yeah, I apologize for that. Um, the fans aren't the best quality. Um, when you feel and the, the they weigh next to nothing. Um, they, they're not the best at all. Like I said, there is a bit of hub wobble on them as well. Um, in terms of the actual build quality of them, they're not the best. Uh, there is definitely better out there. Um, but the lighting does look good on them. Um, but then again, this is a, a budget AIO, 240 AIO. Um, this is around about £65 um, for anything sort of branded, uh, unless it's on offer, obviously. You're looking about another 20 to £25 um, for like a branded one of the same sort of the um, same size. Um, so the pure loop that I use normally in mine, the Be Quiet Pure Loop, is about twenty five pounds, twenty twenty to twenty five pounds more expensive. Um, but you'll see in a moment it does actually um, perform better. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a few gripes with this. Uh, if you want after a cheap cooler though, it's not too bad. Um, but um, we did I did run it up at uh, four point six gigahertz all core again like I normally do for my for my testing, and I did a ten minute run on Cinebench. Uh, so let's talk about the results themselves. Uh, CPU package, uh, a maximum of 83 degrees, uh, an average of 78. Um, so it's actually quite high for an AIO. Um, the Pure Loop did quite a, did a much better job, I believe, if I remember rightly. The Pure Loop came in around 70, sort of 4, 75, so uh, almost 10 degrees um, lower than this cooler. Um, so it does obviously pay to... it does makes sense to pay a bit more maybe um, it's not a bad result it kept it it didn't it didn't um it didn't restart it didn't it didn't crash or anything because of these temperatures so it keeps it keeps it in check keeps it at a low enough temperature about to run it at this sort of overclock it is a high overclock and um, for all 12 cores to be at this sort of uh clock and cinebench obviously is an unrealistic test it's not kind of uh the test it's not like your everyday sort of task that your computer will be doing it's like a pure stress test um, so it is the worst case scenario here um, but yeah in terms of performance not the best not the worst I've seen um, but yeah uh, it's it's like I say it's about £65 um, for a 240 AIO it's not too bad uh, it is ARGB but personally um, unless you, you don't want to spend the money the extra money I would if you can afford to spend an extra £20-25 I would go for something like the Pure Loop or for the Arctic Club with 3s or 2 um, and you will definitely get a better performance out of it um, that's all I've really got to say about it. Um, like I say, installing it was fine. Connections are all fine. Um, it's standard ARGB, standard PWM. Um, not a problem at all there. In terms of noise, the fans are quite loud, but they are up to 2,000 RPM. So when they're up at full speed, I run it at full speed when I'm doing testing because I like to see sort of its best cooling potential. Um, they are very loud at 2,000. That noise doesn't bother me though. So if you're after something that runs really quiet, it's probably not for you. Um, but obviously you can run it. At a lower speed if you want to um, to keep the noise down um, but for in terms of the best cooling it can do it's, it is quite loud and in terms of the uh, the fans themselves the pumps not a problem at all the pumps quite quiet I can't I can barely hear it if at all um, so yeah um, yeah there we go um, if you were looking at this uh, cooler then this hopefully gives you an insight as to whether you want to buy it or not um, uh, it, it's alright yeah I'm not gonna say it's the best thing out there at all and um, it is alright um, it does a decent job, um, 
but there is better out there for a little bit more money. Um, so like I say, I hope this helps you guys. If you want, if you're in in the market for a really cheap sort of AIO, then obviously you can go for something like this, and it will do its job. But maybe for maybe get something like this for a sort of lower end build, maybe a 5600x, something like that, or 5800 or whatever. Um, 5900x is probably pushing it a little bit for this, um, uh, or maybe the 360 version will be, be a bit better. But also, I'll put all the links in the in the description below so you can find out more information about it and where to buy all the different ones. Uh, and you can decide yourself from there. Like I say, I hope this has helped, and uh, hopefully this is an interesting video for you guys to see. I've got more coolers to come, um, I've got more fans to come, I've got a case review coming, uh, and I've got a few other things in the pipeline. Um, I'm actually making my own case, so uh, stay stay tuned. Hopefully uh, you'll, you'll see that video uh, very soon, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.